everyone so today i am going to show you how i make corn shell or strombus shell shaped earrings and pendant uh, i learned this from one of the youtube videos itself and she's a very very good artist lay ann and uh, i'll i'll uh, i'll add the link in description to her video as well i learned it from her and it's very very beautiful uh, jewelry piece uh, for this i am going to use 20 gauge copper enamel wire for the base thing then 30 gauge copper enamel wire for the weaving then we'll need some of the basic pliers which is cutter wire straightener and round nose plier these are the glass beads uh these are 5 by 6 mm round roundel glass beads which has hole on two sides um a ruler or a scale to measure the wire and some sort of diameter so i'm going to use this lighter as as a guide to uh, cut the wire of the same length and uh, give it round it okay so i have straightened the wire a little bit and i'm going to cut 12 pieces of 5 cm this is my 20 gauge copper enamel wire i prefer to use copper enamel because as you know copper gets oxidized and becomes dirty green and i live in goa so here the humidity percentage right now in the rainy season it's like 98 99% so it becomes green within a day or so so it's better to use enamel this doesn't tarnish and yeah so yeah i just get carried away so this is the 5 cm piece and i'm going to cut 12 pieces for the pendant So here are the twelve pieces of uh, copper enamel wire, twenty gauge. Now I'll show you how I shape them. So for shaping, because I know that how much diameter I want, and I have tried this before, and I have made and I have sold these uh, pieces before. So I know that this lighter's uh, diameter is good. But you can you can check with the size of the wire and how it looks. Maybe you can use a marker pen or or a nail polish bottle or something something of this. For five centimeter, this diameter is good. I'll I'll tell you what is this diameter. So this is approximately one point seven five centimeters diameter. So I'm shaping these wires in semi-circle. So I'm I've kept this wire and I've kept my thumb on the lighter and then I'm shaping it with my hand. No tool needed. See. So so I'll I'll make these semi-circles out of all these uh, remaining 11 pieces. and then i'll show you the next step here the 12 semi circles are ready now i'll make loops on these uh, semi circles with my round nose plier so one loop on one side 
and the other loop on other side see this loop is going this way and the other loop is going this way so one is going this way and one is coming this way so i'll make remaining loops and now i'll speed up the video so i forgot to start the camera but i'll explain you i have not that done much things so to start with uh, this is my uh, 30 gauge wire approximately 90 cm i have taken uh, i have made three loops on the first semi circle then i added a bead and i fixed it with three more loops on the second semi circle similarly i have done with the second and third that i have added the bead and i made a made three loops i'll show it to you again i make this mistake so many times now my husband laughs at me so i'm adding a bead now and i am taking my fourth semi circle i'm keeping this bead as a spacer between these two semi circles and i'm going to make three loops three loops is my uh, invention that okay with the three loops you can fix one thing at the place it's my thing you can you can maybe make two loops or maybe four loops that's your choice but according to me three loops help me to keep the place like bead or wire or whatever in the place i'll show one more and then i'll speed up the video so that you won't get bored and one has to keep an eye on if the wires are overlapping each other see my wire is overlapping the other wire now so i'm removing it otherwise it doesn't look good if you'll see it very closely you can see that ah uh, the wire is overlapping so that's my third bead and fourth semi circle is uh, attached now i'll add the fourth bead so the fourth bead and fifth semi circle approximate uh center point i am searching of these semi circles to fix my bead so it will look look like steps going down and i'm fixing my bead in between semi circle number 4 and 5 so i'm pulling it very tight and these beads are working like spacer beads mantra i'm following three so now what i'll do now is 
I'll cut this tail. Now I don't need it. My wires are fixed nicely. I'll fix the end so that it will not hurt my finger when I am holding this pendant in my hand or if someone is wearing and now I'll speed up the process and I'll show you how I make like how I add all these beads to these uh, wires added all the 12 beads and this is looking like a beautiful conch shell now I'll cut the wire and fix its pointy end another two for the earrings and I'll come back in some time with the result hello I'm back so I've made these earrings and this is the pendant which I've shown you previously and now I'll show you how to attach the findings so for this I'm going to use these jump rings which I have made from this same uh, 20 gauge enameled wire copper enameled wire then these ear hooks and that's it yeah and this is the remaining wire from my 90 centimeters which I have taken so let me show you this is around 18 centimeter which is remaining so I used uh, 72 centimeters of uh, 30 gauge wire to fix these beads so now I'm going to make little danglers to attach for that I'm making a little very small loop into this 30 gauge wire then I'm going to pierce one of the bead and then I'm going to make a eye loop on top so for this I have taken my wire from uh, from one of the pliers uh, head and then I am winding it around that loop and now I will cut the wire every time we have to keep in mind that all the open ends should be properly fixed otherwise Either they can hurt us or they can ruin our dress or hair because they get entangled into at least my hair. I have curly hair. 
so they get entangled with my hair see this is the dangler for one either earring or pendant i'll make it again so see i'm making three loops of my 30 gauge wire very little loops So the danglers are ready. Still, this much wire is remaining. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these danglers. put a ring for the pendant so that uh, whenever somebody buys this they can use it with the thread or leather cord or chain or whatever it's up to them so there my pendant is ready and now i'll add the ear hooks So on one side I have added the dangler and on the other side now I'm going to add your hook.
see. Um, I'll show you like this. Here is the earring. Can you see? Here is the earring with the dangler. And this is the pendant with the dangler. So I'm done here. Please let me know how do you like this video and share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to get the notifications on my new videos. I usually add one or two videos every week and depends on my mood but I usually add either polymer clay or copper wire and I'm going to add some more videos about resin and candle making and everything else. So, bye-bye. Ta-da.